March 30th, Holiness versus Hardness Towards God And he wondered that there was no intercessor. Isaiah fifty nine sixteen. The reason many of us leave off praying and become hard towards God is because we only have a sentimental interest in prayer. It sounds right to say that we pray, we read books on prayer which tell us that prayer is beneficial, that our minds are quieted and that our souls uplifted when we pray. But Isaiah implies that God is amazed at such thoughts of prayer. Worship and intercession must go together. The one is impossible without the other. Intercession means that we rouse ourselves up to get the mind of Christ about the one for whom we pray. Too often, instead of worshiping God, we construct statements as to how prayer works. Are we worshiping or are we in dispute with God? I don't see how you are going to do it. This is a sure sign that we are not worshiping. When we lose sight of God, we become hard and dogmatic. We hurl our own petitions at God's throne and dictate to Him as to what we wish Him to do. We do not worship God, nor do we seek to form the mind of Christ. Are we so worshiping God that we rouse ourselves up to lay hold on Him, so that we may be brought into contact with His mind about the ones for whom we pray? Are we living in holy relationship to God, Or are we hard and dogmatic? But there is no one interceding properly. Then be that one yourself. Be the one who worships God and who lives in holy relationship to Him. And remember, it is a work that taxes every power, but a work which has no snare. Preaching the gospel has a snare. Intercessory prayer has none.